Hello everybody, I hope you're all well. So today's video is going to be recreating the Alexa Alexa Demi makeup look which has gone viral. I have seen this picture float around, I'll pop it on screen now so you know which one I'm talking about. If you're a girl, you most likely have seen this. I don't actually know who the girl is, I think she's a model. Um, so yeah, I just thought, should I recreate that picture? I did an Instagram poll and asked if I should do it and everyone said yes. So that's why I'm doing it. And also I've done my hair like how she has. And I look like Miss Trunchable, like, oh my God, I hate it. Like I don't get how girls look nice with just slick rick. I'm gonna put um, a headband on. But I always wear these two or these three. I always, oh God, I always wear these three. But I think maybe we should jazz it up today and use a colored one. Oh my god, I look even more stupid. I don't know what to do. My hair is so greasy. Well, if I just stay like this, you won't be able to see my hair. Yeah, it's fine. I've got a big forehead anyway. So yeah, firstly, she is stunning. Let me just say that. Okay, let's just begin with foundation. She just looks like she's got a nice, smooth lace. Yeah, lace. So I'm going to take my Benefit Professional in Pearl because they have different ones. This one's the pearl one. And I'm gonna place it on my pores and also my smile lines because I don't know why. Maybe it's because I'm using a different powder, but my smile lines have been shoving. And like, yes, that shows that I'm happy, but it's making my makeup look so bad. Blend that in. But yeah, going off like subject, how is everybody? I hope you're answering as I'm talking. <laughs> I hope you're saying I'm good. God, this lockdown. A lot has happened. <laughs> Probably won't talk about it on this video. On this video, in this video. Um, I'm gonna do a bake with me one day this week. Um, and yeah, just for foundation, always my trusty Rimmel Match Perfection. First, I'm literally just gonna take just a pump um, and then depends how it looks. If it looks decent, then I'll keep it as a pump. If it looks not good, then we'll put two pumps. <laughs> but yeah, um, I'm planning. Oh god, it's hard to do. It's hard to talk about doing that. Why do I do it so viciously? Yeah. That wasn't a fart. That was my chair. See? <laughs> yeah, like this. I'm planning on doing a bake with me, and I like. I, I'm quite good at baking, but I haven't, like, I don't bake a lot. Um, but when I have, it's turned out so good. So, I, last time I baked, I made banana bread. And, like, I was going to do it for my video. But everybody's made banana bread. Just in general, like, the whole motto right now is, oh, you're in lockdown, make a banana bread. So, I feel like I'm going to get the piss taken out of if I do banana bread. But, who cares? So, I'm going to move straight on to brows. But she has got quite thin brows and it looks like I do too. But when I draw mine on, I draw mine a bit more, what's the word? The typical, well no, because the new trend is like fluffy. You know the OG faded brow, that's my brow. And I know it's not really recreating the look if I don't do it, but I know every time I do a like celebrities makeup look, they always have the same eyebrow shape. And when I do it, it looks bloody awful, so. But do you know what I might try? I might try fluffing my eyebrow hairs up. Yeah. This is probably like the worst thing. Well, not the worst thing, but like this is probably not the most sensible thing to be using. But I'm just going to take a bit of my V07 matte clay. Why am I so pale? <laughs> there we go. And you know what? Why have I got so much hair stuck to it? I'm literally just going to... Oh shit. Press that onto my eyebrow. Okay, maybe that wasn't a good idea. We'll see if I out. Oh my god, that makes my eyebrow hair feel <laughs> I look stupid. <laughs> and I'm just gonna take my Anastasia spoolie and get a brush I can actually um, brush, get a mirror so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm literally just gonna brush that through. Did that work? I don't know. Oh my god. I'm going to fill them in the way I normally would. I 
and if you're new to like my makeup tutorials or just new to my channel or whatever i always like do the tail first they sound like they're having fun and then i like to do the middle portion which on this eyebrow i always find 10 times harder and then i just fill in the outer corner Oh shit, I've done that bit too big. I feel like the wax is making it a bit more like slippery, but that's cool. Do you know what? I've just had a random urge to go watch I'm a Celeb. I don't know why, because it's not really a show you can watch. Like, now. I feel like where I'm applying the wax, like where I don't, no, the pomade where I don't have actual brow hairs, it's like kind of just not sticking. So I'm just going to take, oh, that's not even the right shade. And just tap that. I feel like that did nothing it just made it harder to um like i feel like it's made it harder to fill in my eyebrows and also they look kind of shiny take my barry m take a brow brow gel and just brush them up so i am just gonna take my makeup revolution conceal and define um concealer just to give myself a clear base i think i'm gonna really like this eye makeup because i do like a smoky eye but i never do them actually i don't know why this might be quite similar to my everyday makeup tutorial which i did a few weeks back but reese quite high she uses just like a matte brown shade or oh, my ring light there we go and she uses that quite near the front. So I'm gonna grab quickly this bronzer and this bronzer is so pigmented, it's only two pounds. Just copy what her makeup eyes has done. <laughs> so it's gone quite in here. I think my neighbor's just got a takeaway and I'm so jealous. And I'm just gonna blend that in my crease. This whole new trend, which I, I'm quite a fan of is the whole fox eye trend where your eyes get lifted up and people are shaving the tail of their brow off um i wouldn't quite go that far <laughs> um personally but i'm just going to be bringing because obviously i haven't shaved my eyebrows off giving that same effect through the eyeshadow to be honest i did my eyebrows quite rounded and the whole trend is like back but it's fine didn't think about that till now So what is everybody watching um, on, well just binge watching like Netflix, I'm currently watching Person of Interest still, I've been going on about Person of Interest for like the past year I reckon, but it's just such a good show and I have watched obviously things in between but it's because I haven't actually finished it so I always like go back to it, but yeah I just love Person of Interest and there's only one person who I know who watches it and that is Katie. Yeah, like nobody I know watches it and I'm just like missing out. They're missing out. So I'm going to be taking my Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette 
and I'm going to be taking the shade called Cypress Umber and I literally just bit my cheek when I did that and I am just going to lift my eye up I'm going to explain because I might be really close to my mirror and you might be seeing what I'm doing but yeah I'm just going to pull my eye <laughs> and draw the line quite high and I'm short sighted so I can't actually see what I'm doing so I might have to go a bit close up doesn't matter it doesn't matter and I'm gonna do the same on the other eye without pulling it because that just looked like a fail actually before I even do anything else I'm gonna take my bronzer again because it looks like she has it on her lid as well so I'm just gonna do that quickly I'm gonna take that same eyeshadow and just press it onto my lid and then I'm gonna do a wing And obviously it doesn't matter if it's messy because that's the point is meant to be blown out. Okay, so far this has proven to be a fail. <laughs> so I'm just gonna literally cut the edge and hope to God it makes a difference. And just, that's not a concealer brush. <laughs> Okay, that looks a bit better. Okay, I'm gonna do the same on the other eye off camera because obviously you it'll be boring otherwise. So yeah, wish me luck because that I don't like this eye, it's bugging me so much. So I'm just gonna try blend it out. And then I'm gonna take this rhodial. Oh, black eyeliner which needs to be sharpened clearly and then i'm just going to use a smudger and smudge it this angled brush and there's like a gap, so I'm gonna So for bronzer, I am going to use the Patricia Bright palette And then I'm just going to take some of my powder and reverse fake. So she has quite like cat eye 
eyelashes so i use the eyelash emporium lashes in make a scene now she has a mole freckle whatever you want to call it above her top lip now for lips she's got quite a darkish lip line then i'm going to use my mac velvet teddy is this from teddy no that's twig my mac velvet teddy and i'm literally just going to press this on she's got a tiny bit of gloss so i'm just going to add the makeup rather no makeup the MUA lip gloss in the shade Honeyed. So this is the end result. I hope you enjoyed this video. Sorry I wasn't that chatty. I was just very concentrated. It's a bit more grungy than I would usually go for. But I don't really mind. Just the one thing which went wrong for me was the eye liner just the shade i use the shade i use just wasn't a good match but if you enjoyed this video then thumbs it up subscribe if you are new and i'll see you in my next video bye